All right, guys, Midwest Cam, back at it again. So this right here is, um, this is our NAOH solution. Um, I used one mold. Uh, so it's about a 25% uh, solution. And then between these two little guys right here, I have butyl thalamine. Uh, this is going to be a base catalyzed hydrolysis. Um, I'm not really comfortable using hydrazine at the moment. I saved a little for later. Uh, maybe we can do it with that. Um, get my mass fixed, blah, blah, blah. But I have a lot I want to get to, so let's do this. Um, so, uh, we're using one mole in AOH to 0 0.3 moles of butyl thalamide. The reason for this is there are two uh, carboxylic acid groups that are going to form that are going to sequester some of that NaOH as it's utilized. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do it like this and kind of just hope for the best. So uh, this is our uh, reaction mixture and let's get her started. All right, now we're, we're ready. All right. Now, let's just add a little, see what happens. All right, so right off the bat, uh, wow. I'm seeing a lot of oil floating around. Hmm. I go ahead and suggest it's probably left over DMSO. But uh, not much though, really.
storing applied. We've got a milky white solution. Um, I guess we'll see where this takes us. I have no idea. But I know that one aminobutane has a uh, boiling point of about 80 degrees, so we should be getting um, kind of an oily-ish um, reflux coming whenever it starts to uh, form, which I do believe we may have a small amount already. Um, it's pretty hard to see. But there are some kind of signs of oily um, drops condensed on the side amongst some water. All right, so we've got up to about 60 degrees C. Everything cleared up, and uh, looks like we're getting some reflux. Looks a little oily on the sides. It's very hard to tell, but we are getting. There we go. A little bit of oily reflux. Right, these the stereotypical amine test with the pH paper. So uh, butylamine, uh, one butylamine is a uh, strong base. So if we stick this in here, if there's any presence. Oh yeah. Definitely being made. All right, so right now we've got things set up for distillation. I only put about an hour worth of reflux into it. Um, I'm basically just at about 60 degrees C, letting things warm up. Um, 60 degrees according to the outside, so it might be about 70 or 80. Um, on the inside, maybe, maybe not. Mm. We'll see. Uh, so we're going to let this slowly come up. We'll see what the uh, thermal couple says when it reaches the condenser and hopefully we'll end up with some pure butylamine. Um, by distilling this as it forms, uh, we're pushing the reaction to completion and uh, hopefully we get a little bit of a product. I think uh, 10 or 15 mils should be about what we should expect. We'll see. And it's about 76 to 79 is the boiling point we're looking for. Let's see where we're at here. Alright, we're right at the base of the distillation head. Awesome. Things are going pretty well. There's still a smell of the DMSO. Um, I'm not really sure why, but the first drop came through the distillation head. Very viscous. There we go. Look how syrupy that is. We are right on the money. 76 to 79. We're bouncing up and down, but in that range is butylamine. It's probably going to be some water, but hey, who cares? Right there. We had went up to 94, and as you can see, we're dropping. So after about three hours of reflux, followed by allowing uh, the mixture to hit the distillation head, we are dropping. Pretty quick, too. Um, so we do got some. product. Alright, so this is the leftover uh, flask. I think we all know what happens. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That's solid uh, 
butyl ammonium chloride. <laughs> Beautiful. Worked out like a charm. So as you can see right there, there's our yield. Uh, I'm probably going to add a little HCl, boil it down, get some crystals out of it. Uh, but this is the wet um, in butyl amine. Uh, there's not much here. So this is a uh, 15 mil bottle. I believe it was, or 20, I don't know if it says 15. So we've got probably like 9 or 10 grams. Um, of butylamine in here, um, which is about a 50%, 40 to 50% yield. Not fantastic, and there's better ways to do this, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to post that. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, I'm working better on editing, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to cut the links down, but I always end up around the same time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Watch for the next, and I'll see you soon. Midwest Cam.